I was really excited when Martin contacted me to be involved in this oratorio because it's, it sounded like a really exciting project to be premiered at Wales Cathedral, but also because Martin's um, thinking for this is not that it will just be an oratorio, but that maybe it's got a life in slightly different genres as well. And I think he's always envisaged part of it to potentially be a musical and other things and create a new life for it as well. But uh, also for me, um, the, the role of Jesus has kind of been in my career. I played the man in Whistle Down the Wind as my premier musical theatre role, who was meant to be Jesus. I, uh, I tried to become Jesus in Andrew Lloyd Webber's uh, Search for a Superstar. That didn't work out. And finally, I've got the Jesus role this time in Wales Cathedral. So it was satisfying in that sense. very nerve-wracking to perform with uh, composers, especially from their infancy when you've not really looked at the music and then you're there and in his house rehearsing it. That's, that's daunting. Um, and I've, uh, <laughs> I've had a few opportunities to work directly with composers of songs and, um, and it's, it's really bizarre. Um, I remember working with Robin Gibb on one of the, the Bee Gees songs and there was a moment, I can't remember the song we were singing, but there was a bit where it was just like a da de da de da and he went, oh yeah, when we wrote that, we just couldn't think of a lyric and we've now changed it to this. You're like, okay, you could only really get that from the composer. And then uh, I've worked with um, Adam Gattel in a show in London, um, amazing contemporary musical theatre composer in a, a venue and I was their music was so complex and I'm working with him directly and, uh, and now to be working with Martin on this, it's great stuff that for me feels... Um, really comfortable in my voice it's it's written in a wonderful register and albeit um, not in completely yet it's definitely going to be fun to work directly with him to find out what Martin wants and to hopefully give him that and not just him but the audience on the night I'm really looking forward to the scale of the performance at Wells with the, uh, the Omega and Alpha production. There's a huge choir en masse from various towns and cities all around the UK who are all coming together to sing this wonderful music and, uh, and celebrate singing as much as anything. There's going to be some great musicians in an orchestra and there's going to be uh, three of us there singing the main, the main parts as well. And it's just going to be really, really exciting to stand there uh, performing the role and looking at Martin's face from our side. We get to see his face. Um, and the satisfaction I think he'll have when the, the music's premiered to such an exciting audience in a wonderful venue. Lots of oratorios are, are, are very traditional and, uh, and, and somewhat predictable at Easter. There's Handel's Messiah and everybody does it and it's wonderful. Uh, but it's great when something fresh and new comes into into the kind of the genre. And uh, I think it's exciting both for audience members and for choirs uh, alike to, to get involved in a project like that. And I think that Omega offers um, a story that people will recognise um, with a wonderfully clear um, narrative, lyrically and melodically, people will feel connected to it straight away. It's, it's, it's not avant-garde, it's not going to kind of push boundaries to a huge extent, it's not contemporary composition. It's wonderful, exciting, beautiful music, portrayed... Uh, I think really nicely, so I'm, I'm delighted to be part of it.